We're back again with another hit or rip game. This time we're checking out a unique party style game called Rebound Dodgeball Evolved. This game was released on the 20th of September 2019 by Hexterian and describes itself as an intense local multiplayer twin stick sci-fi dodgeball game. One of my favorite things right off the bat is the excellent art style. The characters are low poly, the effects are strangely satisfying to look at and the maps clearly have a Tron inspiration and it suits it quite perfectly. I checked out the game on a controller because we all know how much more accurate you can be with a mouse but I was curious how it would feel and I'm glad I did. The menu system feels so odd to attempt to navigate with a controller. The button prompts do not adjust based on the input device, they always show keystrokes and at some points in the menu layouts I ended up just using my keyboard and mouse because I couldn't figure out how to get to the right menu selection. It's rather strange and I am curious how the console version of the game counters this or if I'm just a silly goose. There are a few characters that you can choose from before jumping into the arena and as far as I could tell they were nothing more than avatars, just a nice way to represent yourself and pick your favourite looking brawler. Following character selection, a couple of basic game mode selections like Last Man Standing, teaming up, and setting up the amount of lives that you have before getting knocked out for the round. Finally, players can choose the map cycle that they'd like to jump into, custom, random, or playlists. The playlists were where I spent the majority of my time, and these vary from basic arenas with a couple of obstacles in the way, to the aptly named Galaxy Brain playlist, with all sorts of modifiers like portals, different types of dodgeballs like bombs, and fragmenting balls. There are a ton of cool options, and it'd take you a long while before you feel like you need more maps in your life. Players will jump through multiple rounds on the same map, earning points or losing points depending on how you play, like if you end up killing yourself, until the playlist is completed and someone is crowned the winner. I've had access to this game for a, a couple of weeks before it came out and I've been holding onto it in hopes that there would be some kind of player base to be able to check the game out online, but unfortunately I've never once come online to see any other player looking for a match. This is important to mention cause all of the footage you're seeing is me playing with bots. And I gotta be honest, the AI just doesn't do this game as much justice as I believe playing online would. I only managed to actually finish a few full playlists with the AI because they very frequently completely stop working, or they'll just do a small patrol cycle just bouncing back and forth and doing nothing to progress the actual game itself. The weird part is that every single AI just die all at the same time, so it's not just one AI decides not to play. If you're knocked out you could end up just looking at the AI doing absolutely nothing. I'm gonna go in here early with a rating and a stipulation, so let me explain. This game is a big rip if you're expecting expecting to buy this in its current state and be able to jump in and have fun. The concept, the execution, the variables, they're all incredibly fun parts of the game, but it's extremely hard to experience this game fully when there isn't a player base to jump online with, purely just because the AI is not up to scratch at all. This game is also, however, a hell of a great sneaky hit if you're able to influence your friends to buy into this game alongside yourself. It is a great little game, it's relatively inexpensive, and if you have a group of friends, maybe even just a single single other friend who's willing to take the plunge with you, this is a great game to slip into the fun quirky rotation. You'll probably love this game if you enjoy stuff like duck game, gang beasts, etc. I wish I could provide a straight answer, but since the main issue of the game is that there's no one playing, it's a really difficult one. If the devs manage to make the AI more responsive, grab it, but I can't see it happening since they even say the game is designed for 2-4 to four players and not a single player. Keep an eye on this one, but if you enjoyed the video, please throw out a rating and a lovely comment below to let me know what I'm doing right. And especially where I'm going wrong. Pleasure as always, take it easy friends.